Ed leads a group of Night's Watch members to Last Hearth, looking for survivors after the Army of the Dead attack the castle. They nearly engage in a fight against Beric Dondarrion and Tormund before recognizing them. Ed and his group then explore the fallen castle and find the young Ned Umber, who was killed by the White Walkers and pinned on the wall in the middle of a spiral symbol. As they discuss the need to reach Winterfell, Ned is raised up as a white before being destroyed by Beric's flaming sword. Ed makes it to Winterfell, where he is warmly greeted by Samwell and Jon. He tells them that he found Tormund and Beric at last hearth, informing Jon that the army of the dead will be upon them in a matter of hours. Ed later joins John and Samwell on the walls of Winterfell and engages the conversation with the usual Night's Watch phrase, and now our watch begins. After joking about how the fact that Samwell slain a White Walker and found a woman for himself seems like a sign of the end of the world, Ed recalls their fallen comrades of the Night's Watch and reminds that whoever survives last will have to burn the other's bodies. During the initial phase of the Battle of Winterfell, Ed is shocked, but not surprised, to see Samwell within the infantry sarcastically asking after his absence. After the initial charge of Dothraki are killed by the army of the dead, Ed participates in the battle. After saving Sam from a white, he is stabbed in the back by another, dying before Sam's eyes. Ed's corpse is then reanimated by the Night King along with others who did not survive, and then destroyed once the Night King was defeated. Ed's body is later reclaimed and placed into one of the many funeral pyres for those who fell fighting the whites. After John finishes his eulogy, Sam lights the pyre where Ed was placed.